Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend and to the mommies, a very happy Mother's Day. So welcome. If you're new, please do hit the subscribe button. That would help me uh, get the channel, have more growth. Um, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So just keep in mind that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click on that link. That'll take me to my, take you to my website. All right, Virgo, how is it going? Let's see what the messages are starting out for you the month of May. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, you've got separation. Someone's missing you, Virgo, right now. They're thinking about you. They don't know what's going to happen, unsure of the future. Um, so, uh, you know, either you haven't met this person yet, and they're dreaming or trying to manifest some type of a love situation with you. Sorry, can't even see it. Um, or it's just an energy of someone that you were in contact with in the past. You guys are not talking. There's no communication. There's some kind of sadness about a separation. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be like a separation where two people have decided to separate. It can be. It can just be that something has two people apart and unable to communicate at this time. Um, but there's definitely sadness. Somebody's missing you, thinking about you. They're yearning for you, wondering what you're up to, how you're doing, that kind of thing. Okay, so definitely you are on somebody's mind here, Virgo. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, photograph. Somebody's looking at your photos. Oh my goodness. Missing you, feeling nostalgic, obviously, about the past. This could, for, I mean, like small percent there's someone who's thinking not maybe of you directly but thinking about manifesting with you but there this is someone who is re, is just remembering the reminiscing okay again they could be looking at your photos if you have photos somewhere or if photos were sent they're going into their phone and they're looking into the album where they if they saved them and they're looking at those photos of past times together um definitely missing you this is twice both of these cards i'm just hearing that song photograph um it's like they don't want to look at these photos anymore um but it's all they've got it's all they have right now okay and i feel like you know they don't want to look at these photos anymore this person wants to to take new photos have new pictures of you. They want to either get new pictures of you or see you, okay? Or they're looking to see if there's any, I keep forgetting to show these to you, I'm sorry. Um, or they're looking to see if there's any new photos of you, I'm just hearing, okay? And if there are, they're looking at those, okay? Somebody here wants to create new memories, okay? Wow, Virgo. Let me see. Oh, wow. We had a whole bunch of cards fell out. Well, I guess we're going to take them. Okay. This is not enough. I'm hearing being without you is not enough. I, somebody's frustrated in this relationship. Fear, ego issues, jealousy running through their mind. Could you be with somebody else? Are you talking to someone else at this time? Okay. Um, when they get some time to think about that, whatever's... Whatever thoughts flow through their brain, these are the thoughts. Are you with someone else? Are you talking to someone else? Okay, because there's a mask here, not showing true feelings, pretending. So I feel like somebody here um, is not express. They're not showing their feelings. Okay, they're hiding. They're not showing that they're missing you. And we have the Phoenix, a new phase, rekindling, renewing a relationship, growth, and someone's changing their mind about something. So if there was like a separation of some sort or a breakup, I feel like somebody's changing their mind about a breakup or they're just really, somebody's all up in their feels about you here, Virgo. All up in their feels about you. I just heard that. <laughs> Wait, 
Is it in, in sync or Backstreet Boys? I want you back. I want, I, I can't sing it. I don't remember how it goes. I'm not gonna sing, I don't get copyright strikes, but it's like, is it a song? I think it's a song called I Want You Back. All right. You know what, let's get, let me just pull some romance oracle messages here and see what's going on. What is this? What is this? Somebody is 100% wanting to rekindle. They're not showing anything right now because the, the all they have is hurt and pain. Um, not enough. I feel like this, whoever this person is, Whatever's going on, they're un they're not fulfilled. They're not satisfied. If they're in another relationship or if they were dating other people, it just wasn't enough for them or whatever else they might be doing in their life, it's like it's not enough without love. Okay. Interesting. All right. Oh, wow. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is what this person is thinking. Like you are their true love or, or they're questioning is Virgo my true love and they're they're asking themselves I think Virgo might be because I can't stop thinking about them you're on their mind 24 hours seven days a week okay and I feel like this person they want to rekindle this something I don't know what happened with the separation they're unsure about what the future is going to hold or but they can't get you off of their mind Virgo oh my goodness staying optimistic about love okay I feel like this person is um, even though unsure they're trying to stay positive that you two will be together be able to renew some type of connection some of you might have started talking already um, or you will be having this energy. I'll see if I can pull up any dates and when somebody could be coming back in to try to renew this connection with you. Okay, letting go of control issues, allowing the situation to unfold naturally. So I don't feel like, so this person here is not forcing anything. I feel more or less, it's like they want this to be organic, reconnecting with you and just for the whole thing to just unfold and go in the right direction i'm not feeling like trying to control a situation it's more like getting uh, somebody reaching out to you and renewing the connection and then kind of being like well let's see where it takes us like being open staying optimistic and positive and being open to being able to rekindle something here with you okay let's see what causes separation what caused this separation where two people are not together here? Oh, Queen of Cups. Okay, could have been a water sign caused it if you were connecting with a water sign. Okay, death. Interesting. So it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, water sign could have caused this connection or this disconnect. Let me see. So, okay, the magician. So we have Gemini energy here, Virgo. Um, hmm. Feels like somebody had a hand. Oh, somebody might have put a magic spell and caused some type of disconnect or an interference. But it feels mostly like um, somebody willed, it, willed this connection away on purpose in the past wilded away either it was someone that you were involved with that ended it or maybe it was you it could have been you if you're coming through as the queen of cups intuitively like intuition telling you it's time to end this and manifested that ending okay um or there was a third party involved that had some type of influence show me this photograph what is this person like reminiscing? Like, what are they thinking? What are they looking at at Virgo's photos? Hmm, conflict, challenge, uh, overcoming the challenge and having a new opportunity. This is what I feel like. I feel like this person looks at your photo and is like, okay, Virgo was quite a, ch quite a challenge. Virgo could give as good as Virgo could get. And 
um, there were they, they do see that there's obstacles or there were obstacles in the connection but right now they're seeing a way around or a way over these obstacles or a way through these obstacles this is how I feel um, because that five of wands energy I feel like this person may have felt like too many problems or too many obstacles or challenges or too much rivalry um, too maybe a, a bit too much bickering at times but it's like it's like okay I feel like this person I mean are they drooling over you I'm not so sure I feel like this person is looking and thinking okay back then it wasn't the right opportunity the time it wasn't right for us we had too many challenges we had too many obstacles to try to make to overcome and now it's like this person is seeing an opportunity for um i don't know growth but i feel like it's time to invest like i can invest and overcome whatever these problems are and I, I feel like they're reminded of this when they look at your photograph when they see your photo you know it's like i'm hearing looking at the photo and they're looking at it and saying you know virgo was worth it I should, if they let it if they let the relationship go Vir, you know they're saying I shouldn't have let Virgo. Yeah, we had these minor obstacles, um, but Virgo was really a gift that came to me, and I should not have let Virgo go or pushed Virgo away. This is what they're thinking here, okay? How to make it work. There you go, Eight of Pentacles. What effort needs to be put in? I don't know you're doing something to somebody here just just by seeing now it doesn't have to be looking at like photos of like your hair done it could be um some of you might or maybe they get a glimpse or they see you or they see a picture or something of you like active in your life and moving on and maybe being social and enjoying your life okay in a lot of ways you know they might be looking um they may they may not be photos that they have it could very well just be that they see you somehow or some way or they hear about you and then they have a photo in their mind about what your life must be like and i feel like some of you are really just out there enjoying your life and living your life i feel like this person with the not enough card um is now frustrated they might be in another relationship with someone and that's turning out to be not what they wanted um and they sabotage that relationship they might have been dealing with someone who was uh it, like very jealous or um, this feels like a third party kind of thing um, that whatever they gave was not enough and because somebody was very demanding in another relationship that they might have been in or someone else they were if something had ended you know people when things end they get on with their lives right and they meet new people and I feel like if this person had met another person whatever they were giving was just not enough whatever so if they met someone else, that other person was just not appreciative. Um, they, your person did not feel appreciate, appreciated. And they also, um, I feel like right now, they're very frustrated. Let me see what this fresh. Yeah, there you go. Three of swords. So definitely a third party situation or someone else they were talking to or your person felt like whoever they were talking to just could not give them enough of what they needed compared to what you offered in the past. Okay. Um, so this is like there's a breakup. Your person while you and they are in separation whether it's temporary or permanent they might have had another person in their life um or have someone in their life that i feel like that's coming to an end here that's divorce it's loss it's arguments um let's see what else is going on here okay yeah this person's like <laughs> they have a wandering eye um, I feel like your person is like standing on the edge of the cliff, like when they get in a fight with whoever they were with, um, then they leave and they walk off 
and they stand like by a lake or something they just look out and then they just look at the horizon they're thinking about you wondering where you are you know and you look out kind of daydream a little bit or just go off on their own and they're distracted by their thoughts of you some of you could be in a distance to this person maybe across water or just some kind of a distance to them i feel like the problem that your person is having with somebody else whether you know they're with someone else or not is the fact that they can't get you off their mind so maybe they were in a rebound they could have been in a rebound um or they've had some kind of distraction and they cannot get you off of their mind and that might have been causing yep the problems okay your person was blocking whoever they were distracted by um, pushing back on them and then the one that they were with I see jealousy and ego issues and problems which actually just your person was just withdrawing from another relationship because you're um, you're their true love Virgo you're their true love okay which Virgo's like yeah oh well goodbye keep it moving my problem and some of you are not like that some of you are like yeah I know it would be great if we could work things out but you don't have much hope left and some of you are moving on now the mask is here why is this person not showing their true feelings for Virgo okay hmm ace of swords whoa king of wands oh this is pride Okay, um, pride. Hmm. Their pride comes first because the ace is a card. It's like the first card. Okay, and it's about the thoughts. And in their thoughts is they're just kind of, <laughs> they might be, you know, under the sheets at night, you know, keep them busy when it comes to you. But I feel like this person, it's their pride. You know, they, they just, I don't know. Um, it's not that I don't know, but it's weird because I feel like with the Ace of Swords, they are thinking about you and they do want to slice through that mask and express themselves. I mean, I feel like they are thinking about it. But they got to get over that pride here. See, they're keeping hush hush and quiet with the high priestess. They're not revealing anything, and it is. It's it's it's. There might be this thing where this person, you know, if they ended something or if they screwed something out real bad and they want to come back, um, their pride might be keeping them from coming back with um, their tail between their legs. Um, they might have an, an ego thing going on about that, you know, like they might have to come back and say they made a mistake. Um, but I feel like they are thinking about it. They are definitely, they have it on their mind that they want to initiate, uh, start up some talks with you again, because the Phoenix is here. So this is rekindling, renew, transformation, growth. There's definitely growth. Um, and a changed mind so these are like new thoughts that are coming in the coming within them here and i feel like getting up the pride and the courage to reveal the secret what's behind the mask is that you are their true love and it, it's just like a i feel like once the mask comes off then the rekindling of a relationship starts and it's all really just about timing because i feel like this person wants to kind of make sure that you're going to receive them um, they're, they're hesitant, definitely, because you might whip out your five swords and, you know, slice and dice. And just so I, I feel like this person is trying to gear themselves up for rejection because they know somewhere in their heart you might be one and done. You might have had enough and they know that you very well might just say no and they're going to have to face that rejection. And that's pretty that's pretty tough you know what are you gonna do I mean you know when you realize that that was your person and you, you want to come back and try to fix things I mean pride has to go pride has to go 
Yep, and this is all about getting, they'll get the courage, believe me, they'll face their fears and come in. It's just this whole, you know, Virgo might reject me. I really did it this time. I think it's done. Um, Virgo kept telling me and I wasn't paying attention um, or I wasn't trying to communicate about whatever Virgo was telling this person and now it's like they're not even sure that's why i was saying unsure about the future they're not sure um that you will even receive them that's how i feel that's going on here okay um but they're going to do it the six of swords they're going to face their fears and come in let's see if we can try to get like some time dates because we've got may that we're into may Oh, well, that's that's a double. That's a double. Um, I'm hearing, oh, geez, they're just telling me May 9th. Well, that was tonight, yesterday. Hmm. Some of you might have already heard from this person. Some of you, this person has reached out and you did not get the message. I don't know why. They're just telling me. Maybe you were busy, you're working, you were doing whatever. I feel that you, uh, most of you actually, I'm hearing that this person tried to reach you, but th you didn't get the message. And yeah, and now I'm feeling like this person's kind of been waiting, like wondering what happened or did you cut them off? And now this person's actually going to try to make moves to uh, come towards you, like come and see you to try to get your attention. You know, you're not picking up the phone. You're not answering a text. Now they either show up at your work or they're going to show up at your home or something along this line. So let's see. Okay. Yep. Six and three. It's nine. Nine, nine, nine. For some of you, this might be the, the cycle has ended. The completion. You have finished this, the phase. This person wants to rekindle and have a new phase with you. And some of you Virgos are moving on. You're moving on to someone else or something else in your life. Okay. I can definitely see that. And But I think you need to know, Virgo, that whatever happened in the past with this person... Whatever caused a separation, this person has not forgotten about you. And like I said, you are on their mind constantly. And this person believes in their heart of hearts that you are their one and only true love. Okay. Um, and maybe a separation needed to happen for this person to come to terms with that. But for others, it might be too late. You know, for some of you, you, you might decide to take this person back. Let's take a look actually at your energy. I want to see um, what's going on with you here, Virgo. Give me just one second. I want to get a different deck. Let's see. Virgo's energy. I love the Witch's Tarot, but I feel like I need to change this up a little bit. Okay. What is Virgo's energy? This person's definitely coming back or, or you know if if there was a message or a call and it either wasn't received or not answered i feel like this person's going to find a different way to get a hold of you in the month of may all right virgo's energy show us what's going on with virgo okay huh. well virgo you've got the eight of pentacles in reverse so i mean you're definitely in repair mode i can tell you that like you are you're whatever you're trying to rebuild i feel right now you're trying to rebuild um you're trying to get back to being more consistent in your life um but some of you are open to repairing this relationship okay so some of you are going to receive this person back into your life you know as long as they're willing to rebuild what was destroyed like you have to see that. Some of you are like, I know you. Some of you Virgos are gonna, you're gonna have a spreadsheet. You're gonna give them a list of rules. You're gonna have like, <laughs> you're gonna send it to corporate. Some of you are just, 
You're going to put it in the filing cabinet. You're going to make them check in every day. You know, you're going to give them like punch the clock. <laughs> Some of you are going to be like, you know, this is how I do bloody sums. I'm getting this person to come in. <clears throat> if they want to rebuild it, they got to be prepared to do that. Okay. Um, so we've got Piscean energy here, the hanged man. So this is like, you know, seeing things from a different perspective. Hmm. Thinking about, okay, can this work here? Um, because we saw the Ace of Pentacles and I was feeling like this person sees, wants another uh, new opportunity with you. Okay. Um, and I feel like they do come in with that opportunity, which is that pentacle, and then they tell you about it or hand it to you, and you kind of look, you look at the pentacle, and you're like, hmm, let me see now. I feel like you analyze it. They know that they want to have that with you, but you, Virgo, they hand it to you, and you're like, oh, just let me look at this. I want to see. Is it real? <laughs> Are you for real? So you're going to be kind of like, hmm, analyzing it a little, trying to see it from their perspective, because I do feel like this person is going to come in and tell you that because of the mask and the king of wands and because of the ace of swords, um, that this person, um, they're going to tell you that they, were, they weren't showing their true feelings. They were hiding. They were pretending to be something that they weren't. Um, it could, they were trying to delude you to make you think that maybe they were better than they were um, so that you would like them or you would be attracted to them. Um, their true feelings that they were hiding is that they were hiding who they, who they are, they're personifying, hiding who they were. And who they were might have been the opposite of the King of Wands, bold, charming, courageous. I feel like somebody was wearing a front and trying to make it seem like they had it all together and that they weren't, I feel like they were the opposite of that. They were the opposite of that. And the thing is, they fell in love with you and they weren't expecting. For some of you, this person was not expecting. They fooled around and they fell in love and they weren't, they weren't trying to fall in love with you. And they kept fooling around. And then every person um, before, during, and after they were, you know, not being serious with, and they weren't being serious with you. Um, they came to terms during this time, this separation, you're their true love. That's it. And now this is like the player you, you, I'm just hearing you. I don't know that you played the player. I don't think that you played anybody. I think you were just being authentic and being yourself. But this person is turning around. It's like they don't want to live their life like that anymore. Now that they've found love, now that they know that you are their true, now that we found love, what are we going to do with it? So here you go. And now this person is like, oh, M G, nobody else out there for me. Virgo is it. Okay. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> And then you're like, well, I, I, I regret to inform you that you can go F yourself. I'm not interested. <laughs> you sh if you didn't know by that, like somebody was just very immature. So I do feel like, like, you know, Virgo, you got a lot of sadness here. You know, some heartbreak, some grief. You do. You know, this person's bringing in this, this opportunity to rekindle this relationship. And they're ready to invest because they, they've fallen in love with you. I don't know. Your heart's broken for some reason. You got some sadness going on here. You've got some grief. I'm not sure what this is about or who this is about. Um, this could be someone from your past. Could maybe not this person. This could be someone else that you're still, you know, you might have a little of, um, PTSD or some trauma that you're still trying to deal with. Could be from them or it could be from somebody else, maybe a Pisces or a fire sign could be a water sign. Yeah, it could be air. I said them all. What's the point? So you're definitely in this trying to regroup. I mean, you're definitely trying to heal from some spilled cups or a, a sense of, you know, it, it might too also be okay. This person's coming in and they want to rekindle. And then you're like, but you abandoned me or I felt unloved. How can I trust that again? 
that you're really gonna, you know, come in and, and like, how, do, how can I believe it? And, and Virgo, you know, like I always say, uh, lip service is for the birds. I mean, we just don't take people at the words. It's it's great, you, but you got to back it up. You can't tell, you know, your credit card company that you're going to make the payment but not have any money in the bank. You know, then you're going to default, right? You, you're like, you got to be in that position where, okay, yeah, I'm hurt. Do I want to give you another chance? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I would like to, I, I would like for us to be on the same page and get in a good place together, you know, in love, but it's like, look at you, um, you've been rebellious, you're saying to this person, like you've been so rebellious, non-committal. I don't know if I can do this again. I'm not even sure I want to invest any time in thinking about it. I kind of do. So you're, you're a little bit on the fence here, Virgo, I feel, you know, uh, I feel it, probably the, the best you could give this person is to hear them out at first. That might be the best that you could arrive at, you know, hear what they have to say. And you might say, well, I, you know, I, I need to think about this. I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to be in a relationship with you. I'm, I don't even know. My priorities have changed. I don't even know if I want this anymore, you know, um, yeah, you got a lot of stuff going on here, Virgo. Okay, you've got the Hermit in the reverse. So, I mean, you're like very isolated here. I mean, in the upright, the Hermit in the upright is just alone, you know, spending a little bit of time by him or herself and reflecting. But in the reverse, this is like deep, deep isolation, like not even talking to anybody. Okay, and try and see the star, trying to get that healing and renew self, trying to get that, um, you know, your spiritual self in a better place, trying to get one with God or the universe, you know, um, because you, you're hurt. Why are you hurt? Well, part of you is hurt because somebody was just very rebellious with your heart. Very. Why was Virgo hurt? Huh. Six of Cups in the reverse. Stuck on a past person. Stuck on a past person. Uh, still not healed from a long time ago. Like a real far back past person. Um, uh, the way this other person here might have treated you triggered a lot of past trauma or some past things, you know. Um, yeah, I just feel like the Six of Cups in reverse, this is a card about being stuck. You're you're stuck right now because you're still in the grieving process. Okay, Knight of Pentacles reversed. You're not even sure like that you can um, move forward. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles in the upright is a very slow moving card. So in the reverse, it's it's in the upright, it's molasses. In the reverse, it's frozen molasses. I mean, it can move, but it's so, ooh, it's slower than a snail, you know? Um, and you're, you're just, it's going to take you a little bit of time, you know? It's going to take you a little bit of time to even, just to heal. You know, I was having a conversation today, and I was doing a, a personal reading on the phone, and, ooh, and we were talking and I, and I said, the head always makes the decision first about, you know, like for example, run, uh, ending a relationship. The heart takes a while to catch up to that decision that the head makes. So a lot of times you guys, you know, will say, well, you know, we ended it and it ended such a long time ago. And I knew in my head that it was the right decision, but why am I still feeling it? Why am I still feeling energetically attached to this person? Why do I still have these feelings for them? It's because the heart doesn't understand logic. The heart only understands the emotions and the feelings. And you just cannot cut the emotions. I mean, you could, but that's so very unhealthy. The heart ha has its own system. And even though the head may tell the heart, stop, 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 let it go, let it go, let it go, the heart's like, I'll let it go when I'm ready to let it go. Uh, I'm going to bleed when I'm done bleeding, and I'm going to cry when I'm done crying. So that's really what the situation is. So some of you, 
even though in your mind you may be convinced that something's over, something's done, or this is the best decision, or you come, you know, your head, your logic, all of that is playing a role. Your heart's still way, way, way back, still thinking and loving and missing and reminiscing. And I feel like that's what's going on here with this person, because whatever caused that separation, um, that was a that was a mental decision that got made. Their heart never got over you, and your heart never got over them. It still it hasn't. And this person's coming back while you're both still in love with each other, even though your heads had went first and said, "Oh, I think this is done." It's not. The heart is still beating for each other. That's what I feel like the energy is here. Hmm. What's going on, Virgo? What's going on with you? Okay. So, yep. Yeah, here you go. Eight of Wands. So, this person is definitely coming in. Um, quick messages between the two of you will start happening. Cupid's arrows. Um, flirtatious energy. Hmm. And some truth. A lot of flirting. Somebody's gonna. This person is gonna come in and tell you. You know, they've been watching. They've been looking for you. They're still looking at your pictures. They're, you know, flirting here. Like you are the passion, and you are so attractive, and you are so sexy, and you are so um, yummy. It's like all this flirtatious stuff, right? It's included as well with the true love that they're feeling, but this person is, um, <laughs> I'm just hearing a want to come see you. Somebody's saying to you, this they want to come see you, Virgo, and they want to actually, um, they want to give you some good news, or they want to find out what's been going on in your life. This person, um, this is like quick change. Um, it's interesting because I'm just feeling this person just flips the drop of the hat as soon as, as soon as they get up the courage and face their fears and come in, it's going to be on. Look devil just popped out this person is like never let you go and i don't feel like it's just not a, it's just not the time to be fully let go yet i guess i mean you guys are just bound you know a lot of people look at the devil i know it's it's capricorn i know it's it could be so toxic anxiety and fear based but there is a fear about losing each other here because this is the true love connection there is a fear about never there's a fear of the heart actually getting over each other and it's not a bad thing um because new love can come in that way you know there can be new love with somebody else but it's like that fear of being without that person i feel like there's something here between two people you and another person here where it's just like you can't let go or you don't want to let go your heart is just attached for life okay and i know some of you listen i'm not telling you that if you were in a, a destructive relationship with someone in the past um that uh, this means you should go back to this person i'm not saying that at all i know i'm speaking to someone here and i know that you know as i said it's a general mess i may not be talking to you specifically it could be the person in the the other person in the chat or it could be somebody else in the comments you know or you know the other person that's going to listen to this 20 minutes after you do you know it may not be your story but for some it is definitely there's this attachment somebody's very anxious has very anxious attachment and it's like they just being without you is fearful. Look, yep, being without you is fearful, right? Look at you. You're the queen, the queen of the earth. You're the queen, the king of the earth. You bring peace, contentment, and healing. That's what you do, Virgo. That's who you are. Even if you don't intentionally do that, I mean, you might work as a tax collector or you're an accountant. You don't deal with the psychological aspects of people or healing or anything that, but it's just natural for you. You might not even know that you do this. 
okay? Um, you have a very peaceful, settled energy that makes people feel comfortable with you, okay? Um, and you make this person, and that's what I kind of feel like they're coming to terms with, because whoever they were with or connected with, shoo, made that made them feel like they weren't good enough really bad okay got the magician here so you're very this person views you as being very focused and creative they really love that like whatever you you got the Midas touch virgo i feel like this person looks at you and it's like whatever you intend to create in your life business health your fortune, love, whatever it is. I mean, you you have all the tools. You set it all up and you get it done. This person loves this about you. Like you know how to manifest the things that you want in your life, okay? Um, you know how to get what you want. You know how to get where you need to be. You know, so this person never feels like you're someone who is you you're inspiring to them they never feel like you're someone who's going to be lazy you know when to rest and you know when to manifest and you don't take either one of those for granted when it's time for you to rest you take your rest time and then you look at your you look at your plans during your rest time, your downtime, you're always on, Virgo. You're always a mover and a shaker. Your mind's always going. You know, even if you're just sitting at night or you're laying in your bed, you're thinking about all your plans, what you're going to, money you're going to make, the things you're going to do in your life, what's next, what's next. You, your mind never shuts off, Virgo. And um, you try. And the only way you can really try to get your mind shut off is by keeping it busy. Um, because it's, Virgo... <laughs> Virgos or distract yourself with a show whatever it is you your mind's just always on so even when you're resting you're manifesting <laughs> oh Virgo I love you Virgo you are so amazing you're such an amazing soul and this person knows it and they know it and they know and they're coming to terms with like you are their true love forever ever and ever one more okay yeah they view you as a winner Virgo this person looks at you and it's like you are on fire Wow, they see you as a winner. You're like a, a victory lap <laughs> to them, you know? Um, winning you back, trying to get you back, will have them on top of the world. We'll have them on top of the world. But you know what? As they should be, right? Um, let's get a couple of... I got cards everywhere here. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Virgo, you are so fine. You are fine and on time. <laughs> That's Virgo, fine and on time. <laughs> That's going to be the next thing I post, I'm telling you. Punctual is F, but looking good and looking fine. All right, let's see what other messages here for Virgo. So you have the black cat. I feel like you get this a lot. Your luck will soon change. Very good, Virgo. This is what we want. This is what we want. Okay, you've got the night. Triumph over adversity. Look at that. So, you're going to be okay, Virgo. You are going to be okay. You will come out a winner in the end, no matter what. The dragon, strength and wisdom. Look at that. Some of you might be dragons. Or maybe there's a rabbit. You're the dragon. You're the rabbit. They used to call it the cat, but it's rabbit. And you've got serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Stay positive, Virgo. Things are going to go in your favor, I'm telling you. One more, one more. The siren, a temptation may lead you astray. Okay, I'm not even going to extrapolate on that. You are very tempting to this person. I feel like that's leading them astray um, from whoever they were with, for sure. All right, let's get a couple of, uh, you know what? No, we're going to see what Chinese signs, what your person's Chinese sign might be. Now, this could be you. This could be them. But if it's neither, don't worry. It doesn't mean the messages are not for you. We're just trying to, Spirit just wants to hone in on more specifically who this message would be for, okay? And if you don't know your person's Chinese sign, I'm going to post a link underneath the video um, 
that will take you to find out what your person's Chinese sign is. If you're not sure, you just have to plug in the year of their birth. And depending on whether, because the Chinese New Year starts in February, I think. So I think it, the, the Chinese sign starts, Feb, it goes February to February. Okay, let's see. Okay, we've got a monkey. We've got a rabbit, just as I said. We've got a horse. We have a dragon, as I said. Okay, double horse for those of you. Okay, we have a dog. We have a rooster. And we have a snake. Okay, monkey again, two monkeys. And we have a tiger, okay? All right. <laughs> Virgo, let's get some emotions in this reading. I want to see how this person's feeling about you, what they're hiding, what was going on with them, what they weren't revealing to you, Virgo. The Hidden Truth Oracle. I, I'm starting to understand our connection. Oh, boy. That's what I was saying. This person, viewed, like, this is true love. That's what I was saying. This person's in this position now where they're like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Virgo, like, I, I get it now. I get it. Hmm. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, doesn't it? Okay. This person regrets lying to you. Um, so whatever they lied to you about or whatever they were hiding, there's definitely regret here. Um, and you, you that's why you had that five of cups there because you have some sadness about some lies. Okay. This person was burying themselves in work to forget you. Okay. It's not working. <laughs> It's not working. That their distraction buried themselves in the work, buried themselves between somebody else's legs. It didn't work. I wish I had treated you better. See? Now either these are gonna be things that this person's gonna say, or this is just how they're feeling. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, now the good news that I'm picking up here is um well, one of the things is um, I've come to realize that you are the only one for me, Virgo. You are my true love. Um, the other good news is they're moving um, near to where you are. And that's all I can say. They're moving closer to where you are on their own. Or they're coming to where you are. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. See, Virgo, this, you're on their mind 24-7. And you came closer than anyone, Virgo. You were it. You were the only one. No one else got as close to them. They never allowed anyone else to get as close to them as they allowed you to. So, Virgo, you got that thing, that healing, that peace, that understanding, um, that acceptance energy. Um, you know, I know you're not perfect, Virgo. Nobody is. You may have had your moments, of course, but there's definitely something here that this person is just fully understanding who you are to them and what you what you mean to them. I, I just keep getting the sense that somebody was just very noncommittal. Or they they were just playing around or messing around and you know but they fell in love with you all the while and and maybe they didn't tell you that or they mentioned it but they weren't they didn't really give in too much to that you know um, um, but now they want to tell you how they feel Virgo and you're gonna get that they're gonna tell you you're my one and you're my true love you're the only one. And I mean, I think that energy is beautiful. All right, let me see. Messages of love, passion. Try something you've never done before, Virgo. This is for you. I don't know what that is for you, but you've got to not let the let the passion drive you. Don't let fear drive you um, either away or from anything. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before ask, before acting. Okay? So before you go ahead and, and try something that you've never done before here, Virgo, and I don't know exactly what that could be, 
um, you'll know when the time comes you need to clear yourself and focus um, because if you don't focus on the passion and going towards something this thing you've never done before um, I, I'm afraid you might back out of it clear the obstacles Focus on what it is that you want. Is this thing you're going after? Whatever it is in your life. It doesn't have to be this relationship. Whatever it is. Is this thing you're going after really in your best interest? Is this part of your self-care? Is this like really what is going to be good for you? Okay. Children are, are important to this partnership. So this connection might be between two people who have children. Or um, one person might have children. Okay. If that's any, you know, I forget the word I was going to use. I lost it. Intuition. Trust your intuition, Virgo. You already know the answer that you seek. You have to trust yourself. So there is telling you to trust your intuition, whether it's good or bad, whether it's for you or not. Trust it. Don't second guess yourself. Don't gaslight yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Trust your initial feeling. Okay, and you'll know it because it'll come from like down here at this area, like the belly area. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I'm 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 thinking faster than I'm talking. It's not coming from the belly area. Fear comes from here. Okay, when you get those butterflies, your intuition is an overall sense of well-being. At least that's how it is for me. When I know something's right, I feel it from my head to my toes. And it's relaxing and it's calming and it's an all-knowing. Um, if you feel it in your gut area, then that's probably fear and there's something triggering you. Okay, because your body speaks to you. Okay, here you go. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? So have your values and morals shifted and changed? Who are you? Where's your integrity? Is this going to align with you? The, a, a reconnection, a renewing a connection with someone? Like I said, some of you are just, you know, may given another opportunity. And others of you are like, have changed. And you don't want that. You don't want it back. Okay? Um, you're just going to just keep working and focusing on yourself and manifesting until... You know uh, another opportunity comes along because another opportunity always comes along um all right let me see what other messages there are here for you and then we'll get some moon messages because i believe we have a do we have an eclipse or a full moon on the 16th next week okay peace the influence of balance and harmony are over you now Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that spirit is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. Okay? That's your intuition. Give it, give it up. Give it up to the universe. Give it up to higher power, to your, to your God or your, your spirit or your angels. And trust in them to lead you in the right direction if you're not sure. Okay, you have head of household. Take charge of your divine masculine energy. There's a father figure around you who may be guiding you. Strive for respect, dignity, and power. An influential male is supporting you now. Okay, so it could be a father or um, it doesn't have to be your father. It could be. It could just be a father. That's Aries energy. There's Pisces. Somebody on the cusp of Pisces and Aries, I'm just hearing. March... 18, 19, 20, 21st, somewhere along there could be somebody you're connecting with. One more. Oh, got deeply loving male here. Okay, somebody's coming in. They want to give you that love. This is uh, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Okay. Um, and it could be female too. Just remember it's all um, it's all energy is what, I want to, what I'm trying to say. Um, where are we? Oh, let's get the moon cards. And then we're going to do some numbers and charms. And wow, an hour went by so quick. All right, let's see, Virgo. Moon messages for Virgo. Oh, take time to breathe out, Virgo. Disseminating moon. I think we talked about this. And if you haven't heard me talk about this, your exhale is just as important as your inhale. 
because your exhale releases all the toxins. So along with your physical breath, um, think in your mind whatever things are toxic in your life. Um, release them also with every exhale. And that would be that type of breathing which is done on purpose. So if you're laying in bed, it's a part of a meditation. You visualize the things that you don't want that are hanging on you or in your energy field. And when you meditate, you do your breathing. With every exhale, you let them go. So you inhale what you do wish for. You inhale the good and the love. And you exhale all the bad. Right? So take, this is telling you, take some time to purposefully breathe out the toxins. A new start is coming. Beautiful. A new start is coming. You've got the new moon. Um, the new moon is April, uh, no, May 30th. So for some of you, May 30th is when all of this energy is going to happen. This new beginning. This person coming in. Something starts around May 30th with, the, with this uh, love relationship. Okay, so keep your, I know we had May 20th was something also showing up if you go back into my readings, but also May 30th is going to be a key date. Okay, you're very close to achieving your goal, whatever goals you're trying to achieve right now, keep it up, don't quit. If you're not seeing results, don't, don't give up before the miracle happens because one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, oh. Oh, just like that, out of the blue. That thing I've been working on, it manifested. Here it is. Because sometimes that's how that works. You know, like when you're trying to exercise, you don't see your gains for quite some time. And then it can be discouraging. Well, if you're trying to build muscle or if you're trying to lose weight, it can be discouraging, you know, because you get impatient. You know, you're putting all this effort in. You've been working so hard on something. And it's like, you just, you're just like, just give me a little something. So I, so I know that I'm on the right path. Well, I'm telling, this is it right here. If you haven't seen it in the physical world yet, this is your message. Whatever you're working on, you are so close to that first milestone or the end goal. Okay. Wherever you are on that, that path or the next milestone for some of you, you're getting there. Don't give up. Don't quit. Just stay the course. Okay. And look at the bigger picture. So full moon on Sagittarius. So for some of you, you could have a, you could have a moon in Sagittarius or there's a Sagittarius who's going to be coming in on the 16th. Okay. Um, that's going to give you the opportunity to see something a little bit differently. Could be a friend, it could be a lover. They're going to give you a, an opportunity to, I don't know, see a bigger picture to a situation. Maybe something you couldn't see before. You're going to get to see that now. Okay. Which I think is awesome. You know, whoever this person is, um, could be this person we've been talking about, you know, um, there might be this, you know, situation where there's communication around the 16th and then the, the big bang and then everything starts taking off around the, the 30th, 20th, the 30th. I feel like, I feel like um, the end of the month is going to be hot. <laughs> hot to trot, Virgo. Okay, let's see. Let's get some dates, signs, some numbers. And then we're gonna get some. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the charms now here. All right, I got a whole bunch of charms. All right, let's wait just one second. Oh, okay. Somebody lives near a cornfield. I'm hearing. Okay, some of you are gonna get a message on Twitter um, from from a lover or from someone who's interested in you. Um, yeah, somebody lives near cornfields. I'm just hearing that real strong. Um, oh, okay. Now we've got a, a broom that's made out of hay. So I don't know, somebody on a farm or lives near cornfields or where there's hay. Um, also feel like jumping the broom. Some of you are going to be getting married. There's a proposal of some offer coming in here. For you, you've got, look at, you've got the heart, you've got love. So this whoop, heart dropping, jaw dropping love coming in here. 
for you in May for sure. Look at that beautiful heart. Silver, maybe you have a silver heart charm. You give it, you receive it, you own one right now. Okay. Um, all right, I'm picking up some strong fire sign here. We've got a salamander. So, hmm, there could be somebody who's connected to um, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius who's showing up here. Oh my God, you've got a red heart. Hold up. What happened to my music? Have we really been? Oh, we did do an hour. Okay. Um, Hold on, you guys. Technical issues. We're at the end of the reading anyway, so it's good. But um, yeah, you've got some. You've got a red heart here. Oh, and then there's an elephant. Okay, there might be a trip or a date to the zoo. I'm hearing. I'm also hearing somebody is from an area or a country where there's elephants. This elephant. Okay, so there could be a zoo or a circus. Do they still have circuses with elephants? I guess they do. Um, there's also this elephant is, I'm picking up India as well. Um, there's also um, something here about, there's somebody you connect with who has an extraordinarily good memory. Or this person who's thinking about you, um, they remember everything about you. I don't even know what the heck that means, but somebody remembers like every last detail of your face. Even when they close their eyes, they can picture your face, your beard, your eye color, your skin, your lips. Um, it's like a burn on their brain or the last time you were together, this person remembers every single detail, even down to the time the minute, the second, and what everything looked like where you both were, okay? Somebody's got it bad for you, Virgo. <laughs> Somebody's got it really bad for you. All right, let's take a look at the signs. Who are the signs that Virgo is connecting with? What signs are, Vir are the Virgos connecting with? Okay, so we've got Cancer, Gemini, Leo, and Taurus. One more. Oh, and we've got Scorpio, Virgo, okay, Cancer, and Gemini again. And one more. Oh. You guys, that's totally gone. I don't even know where it went. So. <laughs> I have no idea. Just, just, I do that a lot, don't I? I always drop my, my dice. Okay, Libra, um, why am I having a mind block? Libra, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, so listen, if I, if I called out signs and that's not your person, it could be somebody new coming in, um, but even if it's not, don't worry about it, okay, because they could just have planets, but I am asking for sun signs, so that is what I feel like whoever those people are. Okay, let's get some numbers. Okay, so if your birthday, this message is for you. If your birthday is on the 1st, the 2nd, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, the 9th, the 11th, and the 12th. Okay, um, some of you have a birthday on the 21st. 25th, 27th, 26th. Okay, that would be August, obviously. Um, somebody was born in 71. Somebody is 52. Um, somebody is 25. We have... Um, somebody is 60 years of age. Um, I'm picking up November 9th. January, I'm sorry, they gave me um, November 9th, um, or the 7th, the 7th and the 9th, um, I'm getting July 12th, somebody's 61, I'm picking up February 5th, um, January 6th, Somebody is 40. 
I'm picking up, okay, hmm. All right, I'm, they're giving, they're saying, tell them the address. So I'm hearing 127 house number or apartment number, whatever it is. Um, 257, one six, no, 1960, could be the year you're born. Um, or one, there's a one, a nine, a six, and a zero. Um, one seven one one, I'm hearing. Now they, these could be like numbers of like, where it could be your phone number, it could be a apartment or a home number, or something like that. All right, let me get, okay, somebody's 50. Let me get some more. Okay, so somebody's 51. Okay, 204. Um, we have 55. Oh, that just spun. Okay, we have 33 and 1212. 12. That's weird. 5533 1212. Okay. Um, uh, April 20th. I'm seeing December 12th uh, and the 3rd. Okay. I'm seeing May 4th and the 20th. I'm picking up June 5th. Um, I'm picking up October 3rd. Okay. And March 12th. So I don't know if those dates will go. Don't worry about it if they don't. They either will or they won't. All right, one more, and then we're done. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out, you guys, and make sure that you book a personal reading with me. Um, the link is below. It's $50 off um, for a 30-minute phone call, so go over and check that out. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, so they're giving me the number 640. Uh, I'm also getting 1968. Did I say 1972? Because I feel like I'm getting that again. Um, getting 61. Somebody's 27. Um, hey, somebody's going to be retiring soon. And they just said to tell you congratulations on your retirement, I just heard. Or if you're going to be retiring soon. Um, hmm. Okay, 19. They gave me the number 19. And, oh, now they're saying 28. Okay, and 95. 1995 is an important date. And November 8th. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it, you guys. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the reading tonight. I certainly did. I'm really happy for you. And I hope everything works out and goes the way you want. I know a lot of you um, messaged me that your weekend reading that I did over the weekend actually manifested um, and it, I might just tell you a secret it kind of did for me too which is really strange because um, I don't really listen to tarot card readings <laughs> but it was like okay well if I'm gonna it's only gonna be my own but anyway um, yeah so I just want to say to everyone that is so awesome and I'm so happy to hear that the reading that I did here is starting to manifest. I know somebody put a message in the comments, um, trust my vision, somebody it manifested and she said trust her vision, she knows what she's saying. So I do appreciate that uh, feedback. Also you guys, real quick, I'm gonna make an announcement. Um, so we are now at this channel and it's taken me a little bit of time to get it, but I'm fine with it because um, I like things slow and steady. Um, but we are now at 18,800 subscribers. So I wanted to tell you it's a little bit off, but once I hit the 19,000 number, I'm going to be giving away a free reading. Okay, so make sure that <clears throat> you, I'll make the announcement in my community section. 
make sure that you share my channel and videos with your friends and family. I don't care if you just post it on social media or um, anywhere you want. Um, share it with everybody and I'm going to do a random drawing and I'm going to select someone to get a free full one hour tower reading with me. Okay. Um, and yeah, so we've only got 200 more subscribers to go. As a matter of fact, I can tell you exactly where we're at here. Um, we are at exactly, let's see, do we have 200? Well, we've got um, two, um, 140 subscribers left to get to the 19. So for every thousand I get, I'm gonna give away free readings from now on, okay? Um, so yeah, we have 18,859. Um, we need 19. Oh, I'm sorry. It just went up again. So now we're at 18,864. Okay. Um, so it's going fast. It's moving quick. So, you know, get that shared, share the video, hit the like button, get your friends. I don't even care if they don't watch, just get them to subscribe. And, um, you know, you will get entered into winning a free one hour tower card reading with me. All right, you guys. So watch out my community tab here. Well, I will post that. So you'll be able to um, know when that's going to, well, what you're going to get. I can't tell you when it's going to occur because we got to wait and see. All right, you guys. So have a wonderful night. I will see you all tomorrow evening. Take care. Love and light. Kelly.